let's see. Can y'all see me? Can y'all see my fire? Worked all last night, been up all day. I'm kindly tired, but you know what? I'm doing a Friday, four loco on Friday. Let me get my phone going right here so I can see what's going on. And, uh, yeah. I gotta get this turned on so I can see the chat. Hold on a minute. There it is. Gotta turn the volume down. Hey, how y'all doing? All right. Shane said, what, what, what's going on? Uh, the old pal Fern Bank here. <laughs> Ain't this thing live now? Well, I started it, then I just, I did the thumbnail, and I just kind of held on for a minute, but because Jeff wasn't up to it today. He didn't feel like he, he could make it today, so I was waiting on him, and he couldn't make it. I got the lights on. I got a fire going. You know how I go. Let me sit in front of this fire. Maybe y'all can see me a little better. I don't know. But uh, how you doing, Mel Mel? Good seeing you, brother. Four loco. He said he might do one of these one day. I don't believe it. I don't believe he's going to do it. Uh, me self says, I've, I've made it too to be before a loco. <laughs> Shane's world says, light it up. I did. I lit it up, man. Michael or Mitchell. He said, yeah, go Kevin. <laughs> Not just rocks. What's up, buddy? Yeah, it's evening, man. It's dark out here. I was hoping y'all could see me. He said, I'm glad I stayed up late to catch you live. All right, man, that's awesome, dude. He said, Mitch is on here somewhere, too. Yeah, I seen him on there. Uh, Great American Survival, good seeing you, brother. Appreciate everybody hitting a like out there. I don't know if y'all can see me. I don't know. I need to move over, don't I? I believe I'm in. Let's see. I'm going to move over just a little bit. Y'all can see my shirt. Now, nah, the, the light's in the background. That's good. Y'all can see my shirt, Sty North. Big shout out to Sty North. Uh, having a good time, guys. Four loco on a Friday. All right, let me set my phone up here. Now, this four loco is a little bit different. This one's a little bit different, guys. This is a hard seltzer, and I just recently found this one. Now, I bought two when I bought them. And I've already drunk one. So this is going to be like a, a redo because I did one on my own. But let me tell you something. It's 12% uh, alcohol, four loco. It says with a hint of black cherry. Um, it's, it's pretty good, you know. Um, like that. That's all I got to say. It's not the best, guys. He said, we got to get together. <laughs> Marvin, we'll try to, man. It's hard. I mean, I'm in between working. My son's birthday's tomorrow. Uh, I, I'm just throwing this in here, you know. I've been wanting to do some Dutch oven cooking. Everything is soaking wet. I got all that wood out of the shed or it wouldn't have never burned. Just super busy with work. And uh, with if it ain't freezing cold, it's freaking wet. And it's hard to get out here and do any Dutch oven cooking. After I worked all night, kind of get tired, you know. Some days I come home and I got beautiful weather and I just don't feel like it. And then and I'll come home and we'll get ready to do it and it'll be pouring down rain. I guess it ain't no excuse. I can find somewhere to get underneath and do a video. But anyways. He said, tell me if it tastes like black cherry warheads. I love those. Well, I don't know. You know, it's kind of a, let's just crack it open. 
Appreciate everybody coming out here today. Hope y'all got a full local like me. Let's cracky cracky. Salute, salute, and that comes from MBYR31. Brother, we all miss you out there. I remember you Friday night, you know, 40s. I miss Friday night 40s. And this is a far cry from a Friday night 40, but buddy, I wish you, I hope you click on here. It'd be nice. But uh, here it is, guys. I don't know if y'all can see it real good. But I'm going to pour this right here in there, and you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like. It is absolutely clear, like a Sprite. Just a hint of a tinge of yellow. But other than that, that's it. That's what you get right there. Four loco. <laughs> so I'm going to set this right here in the front so you can see the can and everything. It's, it's really clear. I wish I had a light on me. You could see it better, but... Anyhow, bottoms up. Appreciate it. Cheers to everybody out there. Um, love y'all for coming by and seeing me. Y'all don't have to. Y'all can go somewhere else and watch another. There, there's probably 10 live videos going on right now. The Calvin's Corner 72 is live on Friday with a full loco baby. It smells like a... It's really fruity, which a lot of these have a fruity smell, you know? It's got a lot of vanilla in it. Strawberry, banana, but the taste highly seltzer. It's got a, whew, it's got some alcohol in it, twelve percent. It leaves a little bit of a dry. Okay, like you know, have y'all ever drunk wine, or or or, or a. Like on New Year's Day, they open up the hall. Everybody drink, uh, gets out the stuff, and they drink. It's like a dry. It's like a dry wine. It, it leaves a dry taste in your mouth. I guess that's to make you want to drink another drink, right? Mm. I would have to say, this far and this early in the video, it's my least favorite. I do not like it. It's not sweet. It's not got the punch flavor it's really bland as far as it's not really strong you know i don't know great american survival says is anybody else in georgia <laughs> not just rocks said chug 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 i don't want to chug it no 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 <laughs> smoke eater said they're powerful yeah they are i'm telling you what if you drank two of these big as i am if i drank two of them solid i mean and even if they're good I'm just floppy, I'm telling you. And especially me, I worked all last night. I went into third shift. I've been up all day and all this evening. Now it's starting to get dark on me. But, uh, yeah, I'm getting a little tired. Uh, he said, Smoke Eater said, fight, fuel, or enough. Or, no doubt, brother. Evening old Chevy 4x4. What's up, brother? Hey, I, I went to a dang place right down the road here, guys. It's off topic a little bit. And they had a 20-inch pan well, like miss betty's pan it's got two big handles on it and it's got some numbers on the back and stuff but they're gonna have an auction uh, down here on uh off of i-75 there's a little antique place they have auctions on stuff and they got all kinds of cast iron stuff man it was unreal the stuff they had and i seen that and i was like holy crap it's a big old 20 inch you know cabela's don't even sell them 20 inch pans no more man that's that's awesome i you know i, I hope that you know, I, that Bass Pro picks them up and keeps them going, but I don't think they're going to. Mustang 774, what's going on, brother? Gosh, good seeing you, brother. Nah, dang, I'm not really seeing you, but you know what I mean? It's good seeing you on here. <laughs> I can see him in my memory. Mustang is a good guy, y'all. Great channel. Oh, shit, me 4x4. Hey, great channel. You talking about cast on, that's the man to watch right there. He knows his cast on. If I remember the numbers that was on the back of it and told him, he could tell me probably what year it was and everything else. But I did see a bunch of three-notch Dutch oven pans and stuff up there, so there's some old stuff there. A lot of Dutch ovens, too. A lot of covers and stuff. Calvin, is that hat on the table empty or is your buddy under it? No, he's not under it. As big as he is, he can't get under that. No, I'll just put it on that right there. That. No, he, he wasn't feeling too good. He was feeling a little under the weather. I didn't, he didn't want to come over tonight, so... We'll just let Jeff 
chill out for this Friday. How's that? Um, Plain old Chuck says, I'll ask our local, local carryout this evening. They said they carried the four loco a few years ago, but not anymore. All right, Chuck, I know you'll do it because you, you're the man. Because y'all, y'all, you, you got all kind of crazy beers up there in Ohio, man. Um, Oh, Chevy, he said, I'd sure try it. I, if you ever come down here, we're going to put you on one, but I guarantee you. We'll film it on a Wednesday and post it on Friday. How about that? He said, I don't do seltzer. It's for women. Let me find out, Calvin. Shane's world. Man, come on, dude. It, it is. It, it's, I don't know, guys. Mm. It's got a, a dry finish. A little bit bitter taste. Um, it, you get the fruitiness and all, and it's got a lot of carbonation in it, you know, seltzer like. But it's like a, it's really just bland, man. It's like a, it's it's a sprite watered down a little bit. I mean, it's it's I don't know, I, it's not my favorite. I drunk the other one, but I may not finish this one. <laughs> See, I want to finish, but come on down here and hit me. It's live. He said, we got to share a few locos this May, Calvin. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. Up in Kentucky, it'd be nice, man. <laughs> Chris said he uh, he used to drink the four locos. He used to be his drink until they took the, took the good shit out. Uh-oh, well, I don't know what that is, but... Uh, oh, well, there you go. <laughs> Not just rocks the change world right on, buddy. So it looks pretty warm there, Calvin. Well, it is pretty warm. You know, it's probably 50 degrees out here, maybe 47. I mean, to you, that's very warm. There's no snow. We've not got nothing but a flurry. The other day, it looked like somebody with dandruff was doing like that up in the trees, and we got just a little bit of, and it was just like doing this coming down. I mean, it wasn't even. We we ain't, what feels good on my back of that warm fire there going. I like that. Y'all check it out. <laughs> but yeah, we didn't get nearly nothing as far as. Oh man, the, the, is it breaking up, guys, or is it just my phone? It looks like it might be breaking up a little bit. I hope it's doing all right. But yeah, it's it's nice out here. I mean, it ain't too bad. It's really really cloudy right now. I can see light in the background. You know. But the clouds are really dark, and it's just like it's been a rainy day all day today. It's been raining. It broke off this afternoon, and I thought, well, I'm going to run out there since I got a little bit of daylight and turn these lights on because I knew it was going to get dark on me, and I threw me some dry wood out there and got a fire going. And I called Jeff, and he didn't feel like coming over, and that's fine. I understand. Ain't no big deal. Jeff's been watching a lot of my videos. He's been catching up on them, guys. This May... I'm going to be up either. I'm going to be in Kentucky. I think, I hope it, it's not on the 14th. Because the 14th, I'm going to be up to at a place in uh, Kentucky. It's called, uh, oh, man, it's an awesome place, too. It's up in Lee County, Kentucky. It's going to be called the Redneck Rave. Y'all look it up on Facebook. You'll find it. Or just look it up, and you'll find it. It's going to be awesome, man. Justin Time's going to be there. He's a country rap singer, you know. And country rap's in big time. It's like Hickok, you know, it's up. And uh, there's going to be just four-wheel drives, mud and four-wheelers and all that. I'm going to bring my cooler and I'm going to have my four-wheeler and I'm just going to have a good time, get muddy, ride the trails. And then at the end of the day, we're going to sit down, drink beer, and sit around the campfire. And, and there may be some mud wrestling going on, you know. I don't know. Uh, watch, the, watch the mud trucks go, go at it, dune buggies, whatever and have a concert and just enjoy the night man i mean so and then go retire into my camper or my tent or wherever i'm gonna you know sleep that night who knows i may end up out in a cave somewhere out in the mountains but i'm gonna be there and i know in may we have the um youtubery up in corbin kentucky so hopefully that the dates don't mix uh when is the date in corbin kentucky if you remember mustang 774 blue fan can you Put that on the chat. I can't remember. He's got eight feet of snow in his backyard, guys. I mean, eight feet of snow, guys. I mean, we're talking about... I mean, it's massive, man, this amount of snow they got. Oh, my God. 
No wonder you make your own dang beer, man. Hey, go. You got to have something to look forward to. Uh, was it tater chips or something? When they go, we we go to we go to the store and they go when they call for snow. We're after milk and bread. By God, that's it. We're gonna fight for milk and bread down here. And up there, it's tater chips and the hell I don't remember peanuts or something. How? <laughs> Hey, Smoke Eater said, there's a lot of snow, brother. Be tough to find a damn fire hiding in that. No shit, man. You can, a dog, he's holding his pee till damn spring and can't wait to bust it loose. I mean, he, he what's he going to pee on, right? Golly, poor old pooches. They need a four loco on a Friday. I don't know how long this video is going to last, guys. As long as I got nine or ten people in here watching me hanging out, hey, I'm good with it. But overall, the four loco... I mean, they make some great stuff. And Shane was supposed to be sending me some Four loco hemp. You know, it's like that left-handed cigarette, but it's not. But uh, it, it, I've tried some hemp beers before, but this one's supposed to be from Four loco And he said he tried it and it wasn't no good. So I'm going to be the judge of that and try to do it. But these may be some of the very last Four loco videos until I find some more flavors that I'm going to do on Friday. I may do a, a fired up Friday. Do I get out here? Well, I just did a fired up Friday, didn't I? Y'all seen me light my fire up. You know, I light it up pretty good. Well, it's, go, it's going dead on me now, ain't it? Yeah, it's burning. But anyhow, this is, I'm going to call it a full loco fire up Friday. Look, check it out. <laughs> Ooh, oh, don't get the full loco. Beer foul. He said it's nasty, but the other one's great. So he's got like a couple of flavors he's going to be sending me. He, he lives in South Georgia, guys, down below Atlanta. I'm way up in North Georgia. Just Tennessee's like, as a, as a crow flies, it's probably three miles straight ahead there. I mean, I'm right here in Northwest Georgia. Uh, and I'm in the corner of Northwest Georgia. You know, on the corner. That's right. CC72, baby. <laughs> y'all throw me a like out there. If I got nine people in the chat, if y'all don't like this, then yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I wish you, you know, throw me a like, put me something in the chat, tell me what you'd like to see. Now, I know some of y'all said, hey, you know, you can do a four loco, and you can do some cooking, too. Well, it's kind of hard to talk to everybody, look at the chat, review the beer, and then cook, too. And I don't want to be turning my back to everybody, so it's really hard to do that. Um, I would have to do the video and then edit it out, a bunch of, you know, bad parts or whatever, you know where I'm bending over, you know, saying no to crack, stuff like that. And then make a video and everybody would like it. But see, I'm trying to get away from the editing part of it. I don't want to go completely live, guys. I can't do that. I'm going to do a video on uh, Dutch oven pizza, and it's going to be low carb. And what I'm going to put on my pizza, guys, I'm going to have cheese, naturally. Probably two different types of cheese. The crust is going to be a, a, a cauliflower crust. I'm going to use deer sausage. I'm going to use summer sausage that's made out of deer that I had processed out to processors. It was awesome. I mean, it's some awesome stuff. I've got the sauce, naturally. I've got, uh, oh my God, what is it? Jalapenos, some mushrooms, maybe some bell peppers, and then I'm going to put um, there's one, uh, pepperonis. i got pepperonis. And I'm going to put that, and I'm going to smother it in a Dutch oven with some coals, whether it be charcoal, because, you know, I don't know what the weather's going to be like, or it's going to be just wood coal like this right here. And I'm going to do it. And I'm going to edit it up, and it's going to be, I think it's going to be fun. I can't wait to try it. I can't wait to cut in that sucker and open it up, man, because it's low carb, and it's a pizza, and I love pizza, and I miss pizza. I haven't had a whole lot of pizza since I've been on my low carb diet. Now, I look like I'm gaining a lot of weight. And my A1C did go up a little bit from 5.5 .5 to 5.8. And I gained almost 20 pounds because I've been eating a little bit bigger portions than what I'm supposed to. But I'm still pretty low carb. Now, I know this is not low carb, guys. I know it ain't. And you know what? If I'm going to eat something that's carbed, I'd rather it be good. And I don't know if I'm going to finish this or not. You know, I don't know if I'm going to finish that for local or not. Uh, here lately, I've been drinking just whatever 
you know, I like Bush, I like Bush Light, I do. But I drink Rolling Rock, guys. I like all kind of different kind of beers. I like Honey Brown. I like all kind of beers. I like uh, Killian's Red. You name it. Uh, Stout. Guinness Stout with the Killian's, Killian's Red is one of the best black and tans you've ever, hands down, you've ever put in your mouth. I'm telling you, just, just get a Killian's Red and a Guinness Stout. Mix them together. Boom, you're good. Uh, Oh, Chevy said, it sounds good to me. Oh, okay, Mustang don't like the jalapenos. He said he can't handle the jalapenos. Valerie Reese, hey, Val, gal, how you doing? It's good to see you. I'm glad you're here. Oh, man, that's awesome. Uh-oh, so I missed some. Uh, he said, did you wind up going to youth hunt on Berry College? Yes, I did. And my son shot one, and he made a – it fell down. I saw it, and – but we tracked it and we found some blood. We never did find the deer. And it jumped across the creek, so if it, it cleared that creek. That deer wasn't hurt nothing. It just, I don't know if he just knocked his feet out from under it or what, but he didn't knock. He shooting a 243 Savage mold action. I guess he didn't put it in the right place because we couldn't find it. We looked and I looked and we looked and two hours and couldn't find it. Um, but yeah, we did go and we had a good time though. My neighbor, Jeff, he took his daughter. Uh, oh, my God. Mustang says, uh, Bluefin says uh, the, he thinks YouTuber is May 15th through the 17th. Man, that might be the same weekend I'm going to go to the Redneck Rave. I'm going to have to call one of them off. I don't know which one I'm going to do. Oh, my gosh. Oh, shit, before, before he said he smashed the thumbs up when he came through the door. 13, 14 people watching. Hey, how are y'all doing out there? It's good to see y'all. Glad y'all come by to see me. Dirty Water Jones. Hey, Dirty Water Jones. Man, God dang, I can't believe he's in here. That's awesome, dude. I hadn't seen him in a while. I know he's been doing some dang live streams. Good to see you, brother. Uh, Smoke Eater said, what's up, uh, Val? Uh, let's see. Valerie said, hey, it's Smoke Eater. And then, uh, gotta finish it. Smoke Eater said, you gotta finish it. Not Just Rock says, do not like my wife. When she falls off her diet, she'll eat a frozen dozen donuts. What? Oh, she'll eat a dozen donuts. I can't read, guys. I've been I'm half asleep and drinking. <laughs> and call it a day. Oh my God. Well, y'all get out and run and stuff all the time, so it don't hurt y'all none anyways. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. Oh, uh, he said, uh, Jesus Christ. Calvin, I think YouTuber is okay, that's all right, Mustang. I got you. Um, what is a four loco? I always, you have it in your videos. We don't have it here in Australia. Man, that's bad. Y'all got fosters, I guess, right? Because that's what they call over here. They say fosters. Australia is for beer, but fosters taste like probably mule piss would taste like to me. I'm serious. I hate fosters. Only thing everybody likes about the fosters is the big old fat cans. They can use them to make little alcohol stoves with and stuff. I'm so, I'm sorry, guys. I do. Four loco is a beer that is made here in America. Um, there's all different kinds of flavors, guys. Um, it's a hard seltzer. This is what I'm doing today. It's got a little bit of a hint of a black cherry. They've got cherry. They've got watermelon. They've got um, four loco black. They're like a fruity. They're not an IPA. An IPA is a like a fruity beer, but these are fruity like. And then they got tons of alcohol. Like this has got 12%. Most of them's got 14%. And I'm hearing in some states they may have some 18%, but I don't know where they are because usually the, the stouter stuff's down in the south. And until you get to Florida, then you can drink Budweiser all day and it tastes like water, you know. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, good to see you, man. I'm glad you come by here. Heck, yeah. Josh Carroll. He said, no one in Australia drinks Foster's. Ha, ha, ha. What do y'all drink? Red Stripe? That's that stuff from Africa, ain't it? Uh, Mitch, oh, man. <laughs> Mitchell's his son said he liked it. He liked it. He said it's pretty good. Foster's pretty good. Oh, man. Well, Mike Draper, uh, Four Loco is good. It's 15% alcohol. Yep. Uh, Mustang said, he said, even in Australia, dislike Foster's, Calvin. <laughs> I like Foster's. Tastes like kangaroo piss is what Daddy Water Jones says. Oh, my 
Well, just hop to it, by God, and, you can, and drink it. And tell Skeeter, I said, hey, slap her on the head there. Pet her a little bit for me. And, uh, yeah, that old Dirty Water Jones. He's all right, boy. Oh, you got to go? Mitch said he's got to go. Okay. All right, I see. He said, got to eat dinner and put the kids in the bed. Take care, man. Let's find some arrowheads soon. I've asked him about the arrowhead field, and he said I can hunt, but there may be some times or some places when they plowed up a certain way that he wants to, him and his dad wants to hunt it first, which is fine with me because I turn right around and go right behind him and usually find some more. So, hey, you know, I'll holler at you when it, get, when it opens up and we'll shoot in there and we'll try to find something, man. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure there's, there's so many airheads out there. You, you can walk one way and not see them and walk the other way and see five or six. You know how it is. You've been there. You're welcome, man. Oh, God, Shane said, I'm, all right, I'm done for a second. What's up, everybody? And Calvin, bear with me, bro. I'm putting you a package together for you. Don't worry, man. Ain't no hurry. Hell, I owe you a Dutch oven anyway. Red Stripe is from Jamaica. Okay, well, I knew it was somewhere in the island, man. Appreciate that, Mustang. Blue fan. Josh Carroll said, it all depends on what state you're in in Queens Island, so I'm ridiculously drunk. Four X's. Oh, my God, man. That's pretty strong right there. Have you tried Four loco Hemp yet? No, Dirty Water Jones, I hadn't. Shane's supposed to be sending me some of that. It's down south Atlanta way. I haven't found none of that up this way, so he's going to be sending me some, and I can't wait to try it. I've tried some other hemp beers, but I haven't tried the four loco hemp yet so have you tried it dirty water jones have you i mean you may have i don't know yeah one of your best points points come from up this way mitchell yep yeah well mitch you know you're a pretty good hunter man yeah i've seen you pick stuff up around behind me so yeah uh, you and your little brother and all of them y'all found some really awesome bird points y'all found some of the good ones man so yeah you're welcome to come up man i'm glad that that makes me feel good. It wasn't a wasted trip to come up here and hang out with me and do some arrowhead hunting. That was fun. At least y'all can go. <laughs> I know, brother. I wish I, you could go, too. Hey, if you're working for the UN, which I know you are, don't be coming over trying to get our guns if they try to send y'all over here to get our guns. I don't really want to get on that subject right now. It's a really touchy subject, especially down here in the south, so close to Virginia. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to avoid that completely. Um, Shane said, I want to come hunt, too. <laughs> he said, it's nasty. He said, it tastes like cat, spit, cat piss. Meow. Oh, come on. Come on, Shane. It ain't that bad, is it? He said, yes, it's super nasty, but you, can, you can't you can just drink one. Well, I know, but I can't drink. I can't get past the first one, man. I mean, maybe if I had a little bit of shine, you know, and then I drunk a damn fosters then maybe it's all right and i don't know which one's the best i don't even remember which one i tried i think there's a green can and there's a blue can and i don't know what the damn difference is maybe the blue's a lot but i think i drunk the green can or maybe it's a red can hell i don't know but i don't like it boy i tell you what i was like ah, dang i thought i'm gonna be a man you know i'm gonna be a damn you know australian dude they're tough you know they come from a land down under women blue and then thunder can't you hear can't you hear that thunder you better run, don't no drink, no fosters. Yeah, because ain't no good. Fosters ain't, no <laughs> fosters ain't no good, boy. Woo! He said the blue can is, uh, Mike said the, the blue can is frost. He says Kendra O said, sing it, my God. <laughs> Plano Chuck said, I talked to an old guy in the neighborhood Town, he was telling me that the Indian mounds in his town, a creek runs through or behind him. You may have to go check it out this summer. You need to, man. I'm telling you, them things have been laying there since before you was born, Chuck. And you could find something that's been laying there for five, six thousand years. And you put your hands on it, you're the first one to pick it up. That's a feeling that's, well, I don't know if you've ever found one before, but I'm telling you, that's a feeling you just can't get twice. That's, you're going to get it. You'll never forget where you was. I always look up and turn around and look at the trees and try to get an idea of where I'm at. So then next time I'm like, I'm like, I found that right over here. I can, I can put you within 10 yards of where I found it, you know what I mean? But I found so many now, it's kind of getting foggy in my mind, man. That's why I keep all my stuff separate so I know what field it come out of because I can't tell you exactly where it came from. 
And that's just the way it goes. I'm going to call it a night, though. Pushing midnight here. Y'all have a good one later. All right, not just rocks. Appreciate you coming by there, Mitchell. You, yeah, you get on back over here on the corner with the getting good and happiness always. Just around the corner, baby. Appreciate you, man. I really do. All right, Shane. Good seeing you, brother. I'll stay safe. I'm sitting here on the corner with a fire behind my back. That's actually picking up now. I see that. Doing good. Cooking with fun. Calvin, oh, man, I ain't seen you in a long time. Hey, he said the legend sings so good, <laughs> my son. I thought I was listening to Hank. I remember that. I did a video on, I sung a karaoke song of Hank Williams Jr., Hank. And uh, he said, man, I played it and my sons listened to it. And they said, he said, who do you think that is? And they couldn't recognize me. And they, and they knew me. And they and he said, that's Calvin's Corner said, No way. And he turned the phone around. And let them, I guess that's how it went. And he let them see it. And it was me. And they're like, God, he sounds just like him. And that just made my day, man. It made me feel good. I appreciate it. I try my best. And if it don't sound right or close, you know, I don't even really want to put it out there. And some of them probably don't even sound close. I just feel like they do. And that's the best I can do. So I'm going to put them out there, you know. But I appreciate that, man. It made me feel good that day. Kendra O says, one day I'll find one. Something. Oh, she said, I'll find something when I have a place to go look. Yeah, it's hard to get a place. It's hard to get permission. And I just can't take everybody with me. You know, uh, just the few select ones that are in the community that do hunt rocks all the time. And yeah, it's, it's hard to just get, I can't just take everybody in there because they don't want everybody coming down there after, you know, it's hard for them to trust me, much less trust anybody else that they don't know. And I don't want to lose my chance of going. I hope you understand. Um, all right, later. Mustang, good seeing you, brother. Golly, that's nice that he come by. I mean, he's, he's all the way up in Canada, guys, way up there. Eight foot deep of snow, and he dropped in on the corner. I got 12 watching. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. All the likes and subscribes, you share, you comment. That's awesome, man. Um, took him with fun says exactly how it went well that's awesome man that's cool i hope you do some more cooking soon man do some more camping out and stuff i hope you got that well dug you know that guy come out there and did that dowsing rod and, and found your water for you that was pretty cool man I, I remember that video i hope you got you some water dug and that was that was cool mike dapper said uh he said mike draper i think that's what it is he said is there a address to send for four locos to taste test and get your reviews yes if you look down in my description in the very bottom okay if you got a phone and you got that little arrow up there right underneath my screen but where the where the comments are there's a little arrow you click it and it opens up the description you can go to the very bottom of that description and it has my address but if you do send me something let me know in the comments hey i sent you something then i'll know go down to the post office and check it out you know because half, half time i don't even know where i go down there there's nothing there go two weeks later two days later go down there and there's five packages down there i mean I, sometimes people let me know they're sending me something sometimes they don't yeah they pay a lot of money in taxes and stuff for that property and, and they have to plow it and, and they're leasing it out for somebody to plant corn on and stuff like that but they own the property, but they lease it out. But as long as the man's not actually got anything planted, we are, we're able to get in there and do some hunting. So, yeah, I have to be respectful of their property. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh, he's saying good night, not just rocks. Okay, Mustang seven seven four. Don't say good night to me. Just say it, to not just rocks. Because he's going to. Oh, no, nah, I know you, you. You you're sticking around, hanging out, watching me. I appreciate it, man. He said, yes, got it, thank you. Awesome, man. See, I, I don't like to explain that, but some people don't know how to do it, and I try to, you know, let people know how easy it is to do that on their phone, and some of them don't. They're like, where's your address? And I'm like, it's in the description, and they don't understand what that means. So that's the only reason I said that. Um, wow, that's awesome, man. I got 10 people watching. Hell, I had 14 a while ago. That fire is feeling good on my back, man. Ooh, God, I got fun. Ooh. Y'all check out Stye North. I don't have his link in the description yet, but 
because it's live right now, but after the live event, I'll probably drag and drop his description probably tomorrow or Sunday. Uh, my son's birthday is tomorrow, so I'll be doing some stuff with him. He wants to go to the skating rink and have a little party and skate with his friends and stuff. And that's going to be probably in the afternoon. So who knows in the morning, if I get some sleep, I may get up early in the morning, get out here and do some Dutch oven cooking and uh, get that pizza video out. Man, I really need to get that done. I want, I want to taste the pizza. And I want to have a good video to post. And I may even post it on Wednesday because cats cast iron Wednesday. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. I went way back on what I used to do. I used to make a lot of cooking videos. And I know people want to see that. I understand that. These videos are just so much easier to do. But most of my followers, the, the friends I have, I really don't even like calling them followers. I definitely don't like calling them fans because... Fans are for ceilings. I got friends out here on YouTube. They send me stuff all the time. They comment. They come watch my videos. And I try to talk back to them. I got Facebook. If you go down in my description, you can see my Facebook. Click on it. Go check it out. If you're from YouTube and you've got a channel, send me a message on Messenger saying, hey, you know, tell me your YouTube name. And you, because sometimes they come over and they send me a friend request and I don't know who it is. They got a personal page. See, I've got a Calvin's Corner 72 page on Facebook. And then I've got my own personal page that I don't share with just everybody. And then, you know, everybody's got their own personal page. But I've got a Calvin's Corner 72 page. And the link down in the description is that page. And so y'all go check it out if you want to and just see what I post. I post stuff from time to time. Like, I may not make a cook, cooking video, but I may be posting stuff that I'm making, like jerky and stuff like that. I ground up some deer meat yesterday and, and cut up some loin, and I'm going to make some jerky. I've been making beef jerky here lately, but I've done got videos on how to make that and how I've been making it. So I don't want to just bore everybody with doing the same old thing over and over. And I've never did a Dutch oven pizza, so I want to do that. And I'm kind of eating low-carb best I can, so if I can do a low-carb pizza and it, you know, the stuff I get, I'm going to tell exactly where I got it from. So you can go and do it basically yourself. You know, have the same exact thing if that's what you want to do. Dutch oven cooking, man, is easy. It's forgiving. That's why I like it. It just makes it so much, it's so easy. Basically, you just throw everything together and just kind of keep an eye on it. Don't let it burn. And then that's it. You know, that's, but I love it. The only thing I hate the worst is when I get done, I got to clean everything up, put all the food up, got to, Clean my Dutch oven. I got to re-season it. And then once it's all cooled back down, then I got to go put it back up because I got a box I put it in and everything. I keep everything packed away, you know, in a dry spot. And so that's just the way it is. Golly. Happy birthday to your son. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. Don't get hurt, sk hurt skating. Yeah, I went skating with him for sure, no doubt. Aw. Thank you, Valerie, for saying happy birthday to my son. Plano Chuck said, I did a video on stickers on a cast iron griddle and mom's old chicken fryer today for cast iron Wednesday. And he said, it'll be out then. All right, cool. That's awesome, man. You know, um, sometimes I don't get around to catching everybody's videos, but I know it'll be out next week, you know. But uh, I, I try to catch everybody's I can. The people that watch mine, I try to watch theirs. Some of them, I don't. It's just, I can't watch everything, you know. But I do. I try Especially cast iron stuff. Do more Dutch oven. Love those. I know everybody loves them, man. Um, I'm about out of the dang Four Loco Fridays as far as the different kinds. This is actually my last kind of until Shane sends me something different or I see something different somewhere else. They won't be no more Four Loco Fridays until I get something different. Uh, I'll just put it that way. Cleaning the cast iron is a bit of a work, but it's worth it. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I like to clean mine right away. Go ahead and get it greased back up. That way I know it's not going to rust and everything's ready for the next time. I do my grills the same way. I clean them out so the next time I got re I'm ready to use it, you know. I don't want to have to sit and clean it out when I get ready to use it. I just want to go ahead and put the charcoal in it and get it going. Same way with my, you know, my gas smoker. I do the same thing, you know. I, get, I clean the grates. I get everything ready so the next time... It's a little bit of a chore. It's aggravating sometimes. But when you want to use something, you want to use it. You don't want to have to sit and clean it out. That, that, that's, that takes a lot of time away. Maybe you're in a hurry that day. And, you know, it makes it better. That's just me personally. I understand completely. 
Uh, red gone to gray. Good to see you, brother. Oh, man. He said, nice enough here for a fire tonight, but I'm watching live. PD instead, police department. Oh, my God. Did y'all catch last Tuesday's Moonshiners, man, video? I love that. Van and Ewok, I met them guys. They're good friends of mine. And uh, they're awesome. And they're, they've been running some good shine. And, and I hope they don't get caught again. Uh, it's kind of cool. Y'all are just now seeing the show where they got caught by the law and Van got caught. And uh, I knew about it last summer. You know, as it happened, because I'm kind of close with the moonshine community, the guys on the show. And so they told me, they're like, oh, man, got caught. And I was like, oh, man, you know. And uh, we all know exactly who ratted them out, but the show is not never going to tell everybody. And I'm not really at too much liberty to say, but he's a snake in the grass, and when somebody catches up with him, they're going to get his moonshine. They're going to get it. Uh, oh, Mustang said Simple Four. See, I like the Moonshiner show. Oh, man, you was at work, Red Gone. Steve said he was at work. He missed it. Well, you'll see. It's a pretty good show. I enjoyed it thoroughly. Um, Tim is, uh, well, Tim and Tickle, they're doing, uh, Tim really is still waiting on Tickle to come and help him. He's been helping everybody else, but I hope we don't give up on Tickle, man. It seems like he's had. To keep Tickle, to me, it seems like Tim is trying to keep Tickle with him. He wants him with him. And he's even going so far as to go back in the woods to keep Tickle with him. And I'll be damned if Tickle don't take off and go and leave him anyways. You know, I don't know what's going to take to keep Tickle tied down except for the law. I guess uh, Tim Smith's going to have to build him a jail and then put Tickle in it. <laughs> and then he can keep him there on the set, you know. Help him and Chuck make some moonshine. I've never met uh, Tim personally. I've met Tickle. I have, uh, excuse me, I've never met Chuck on that show. The tall, slim guy with the big cowboy hat that Tim Smith's using his uh, steels and everything to, uh, I can't remember the name of the distillery. But I've never met him. But I've met Van Ewok. Lord have mercy, J.B. Raider. I've met, hell, I sat and sung a song with old, uh, uh, Jim Tom up on his porch. You talking about fun now. That was fun. That guy there sat there and tell stories one after the other in detail. People's names, the time, the dates. The guy's got a phenomenal memory, man. To have two strokes already? Yeah, that guy's, he's, he's on top. But then he knows his stuff about moonshine. He's got a mountain of stuff in his head that he could tell you and show you that that probably people has done but done forgot. The guy's super smart. Uh, a lot of people, Crazy Chuck, Jerry Benson. I've met Mike Cockle, uh, uh, Mark and Digger three times. I've met Ch uh, Chico. I've met uh, hell, Roy Grooms back before he died. I met him, uh, Donnie Benton and Teresa. They're my personal friends. I knew them before they even got on the show. Um, I'm pretty deep in the, you know, community. Uh, Becky Ramey's the one that took me, her, uh, and, uh, oh, my God, I can't remember. I've lost her name, and she's going to kill me now. She sees this video. Tina Hooper, they took me up there to Jim Tom. Uh, Jim Tom is uh, Tina Hooper's, uh, their kin, their cousins. Uh, Becky is real good friends. They grew up together uh, with Jim Tom. And he just lives over in Robbinsville, North Carolina. Probably less than two hours to get there from here. Uh, probably actually about an hour and a half, and I can be there. Uh, great guy. Just a great guy. Great community. The Moonshine community is great. They're just like the YTPC, the YouTube pipe community. They're just like the, the Bushcraft community. All these communities that are on YouTube are really good. They're all close-knit, and they stay together, and they stay tight. And uh, that's what I like about that. Really, I do. I just enjoy it. Kendra O says, I have to go gymnastics. All right. Bye, Kendra. Keep that figure looking good. <laughs> uh, good night. Oh, let's see. Uh, meeting Donnie on FaceTime last summer was cool, Calvin. Thanks. Yeah, I was at Donnie's house up there at his cabin in uh, Lee County, Kentucky. 
And I said, you want to talk to Donnie Benton? He's like, sure. He's just sitting out there camping out somewhere, you know. And so I just hit him up on Facebook, and I said, how you doing? And I turned the phone, and there's Donnie Benton. And Donnie, he got to talk to Donnie one-on-one. -on -one. I just handed Donnie the phone, and they were sitting there talking. And uh, Donnie didn't know him, but he knew Donnie. And he was like, oh, crap, I'm talking to Donnie, you know. And so that was really cool, you know, that that he got to talk to him. And, you know, he could ask him questions or anything. Donnie would tell him anything you know, anything you want to know. And uh, we were just chilling out that day. That was the day he took me out on the moonshine mobile. We went riding on that razor through the woods. Had a good time. Donnie's been, he's treated me like I'm his, like his little brother, like, like I'm his family. Like, I mean, they, anytime, he said, you're welcome anytime to come to my house. Just come up here and hang out. Just come. Hell, his daddy loved me. He told me, he said, come on down there and hang out anytime. If Donnie ain't there, you just come on down here. I'm like, all right. You know, so they all just welcomed me in. Just, and that's, that's a great, they're good people, man. And Donnie, I met him through watching his YouTube channel a long time ago, and I used to watch him before I even had a channel. And, uh, and I wanted to meet him. When I found out he was going to be up here in Etowah, Tennessee, that's when I went up there and met him. And that's when I met Mark and Digger and, and some of them other people. And Roy Grooms, I met Chico up there, and several of them. And uh, Jim Tom was supposed to be there today, but he was sick. He couldn't make it. But anyways, I met Donnie, and we become friends. And then every time he'd come down here to Dalton Distillery and do something, I'd come down and meet him and hang out with him and stuff. And so we got to become friends. And, and then next thing you know, he's on the dang Moonshiner show. And he's like, man, I'm going to be on the Moonshiner show. I said, nah. He said, yeah, I'm going to be on the show, man. we already been filming. I'm like, you're kidding. So he sent me a couple pictures. I'm like, oh, my God. Now, I've been to his still, but I can't tell where it's at. The one that they haven't showed them on this this year's show. They haven't showed them. They're not been on there. They said they may not be on there till next season. So they're kind of upset a little bit about it, but you know, it is what it is. Um, Discovery Channel. They've got all these different people, and they've got to edit all them videos and do all this stuff. And so there's some exciting times coming for Donnie Benton and Teresa. Uh, they're a great duo. I thought everybody really liked them last year. They've done really good when they run the moonshine in the cave. Donnie personally took me to the cave where he did the moonshine. I mean, it was awesome. And I enjoyed the trip. That's where his grand grandfather or his, his granddaddy used to run moonshine there. Um, I've actually got the lid, guys. That You know, when he was carrying that moonshine out with the jugs, he'd made a stick and he was carrying the jugs out and he dropped that one jug and he busted it. Well, I've got the lid to that. I've got the top that busted on that jug. And he signed the cap of it, and I've got it at my house. He said, do you want that? It's just broken. I said, I'd like to have it. He said, you can have it. So he gave it to me. And then I, when he got back in the cabin, I said, will you sign it for me? He said, sure, I'll sign it. So he signed it, Donnie Mint. And I got it on video, picture, and everything. That comes from the Discovery Channel Moonshiner show. And he took me to all the spots where they did the filming and all the videos and stuff and took me on the razor. And we we spent a whole dang day up there just hanging out and Donnie had a good time and I got a video of that too if you'll look through my channel and you'll see it and you look through my video list you'll see the video where I went and seen Jim Tom where I went to Edouard Moonshine Festival you'll see where I uh, you know went up there at Donnie's house and went to Bone Jarred Hollow and, and I've, I've been all over the place and I've really enjoyed it I've, I've had a good time they they treated me like family man and they're welcome down here in my house. I just don't have the accommodations that they do. I mean, he had a he had a cabin outside of his cabin. He had a cabin that I could stay in. So that was pretty nice. The directors from the Discovery Channel they were staying in that cabin as well. I got to see all their stuff they left in there. Their food and all their stuff. <laughs> I didn't mess with it. I was like, man. But uh, I should have left them some notes and stuck it in their little you know little thing. Hey, put Calvin's Corner seventy two on the show. I need to get on the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh man yeah they are some great communities here on uh, YouTube you're right Mustang 717 you're right Blue Fan that was very interesting Calvin I like that video I really had a good time I enjoyed making Donnie and, and uh, I can't wait to see him again when I go up there I know they're going to be up there at the Red Deck Rave I like YouTubery I really do it's, it's a lot of fun, but there's a lot of things I'd like to see changed. And I sent a list to Grant about it. 
Um, I really did. And um, we'll see. I may. I don't know. It's not that far a drive. I guess it's about an hour drive from Donnie's house, maybe to Corbin, Kentucky. So, you know, hey, if I'm at the Redneck Raid and you're in Corbin, Kentucky, and you want to come up, I'll give you the address. You can come up to Donnie's, and we'll go up there, and you can hang out with us. Hell, all y'all can just fly, load up and get in the van and come on up from the YouTube arena and come up there and hang out where I'm at. And you're talking about a hell of a YouTube arena now. That's a place to party. Because it seems like we're trying to find stuff to do when we get up our grants. We're just kind of sitting around. But if we can go up there, and they're having a concert, and they're having four-wheelers and mud trucks and people dancing and, you know, hey, and I could probably get every damn one of y'all in free. Because I'm getting in free with Don, because he's the moonshiner, and then, you know, from the moonshiner show. So, I can't guarantee that, but, yeah, it'd be fun. Y'all need to come up there. You need to check it out. But, you know, PM me or something, you want to, you know, get, you know, we can we can talk to Grant about that or something. Who knows? Most people ain't going to want to travel. Once they get there, they're there. You know, they want to, you know how we do. We like drinking that beer, so we'll get we'll get hung up there. We may even get on some old Four Loco. But I'll bring you four loco for sure, Blue Fan. If you want some, I guarantee y'all. Either that or I'll ship it to Grant's house and you can have four loco. Even if everybody else is drinking bush and you can drink a four loco. That way you can try it. Mmm. Boy, it's good. Might be a plan, Calvin, he said. <laughs> well, I've just got three people watching now. I guess I'll go ahead and turn this off. I appreciate y'all coming by. Calvin's Corner, 72. Four loco on a Friday. Y'all get on back over here with getting good and happiness as always. And I mean always, just around the corner. Appreciate each and every one of y'all for hitting the like and watching, coming by. Y'all check out my playlist and uh, watch your other four locos on a Friday. Because I'll have them right here or I'll have them right here or somewhere. Just click on them and let them play and check them out. I appreciate y'all. I really do. This is out. I'm out. Good. He said, great hang with y'all. Later. We will talk. Sounds good, man. All right, guys. I got two of y'all. I'm going to get out of this chair if I can. Whew. Side. Hey, look at that. Side door. Y'all going to check him out? <laughs> Four loco on a Friday.